President Donald Trump reportedly criticized America's first president, George Washington, for not naming Mount Vernon after himself. But the historic site's name was selected for a particular reason. Mount Vernon is the name of Washington's former mansion, located in Mount Vernon, Virginia, by the Potomac River. It's approximately 15 miles from Washington, D.C. The two-and-a-half-story residence is 11,028 square feet. Washington lived there with wife Martha and relatives. The estate also serves as his burial site. Before Washington owned the massive home, History.com stated that the estate was owned by his grandfather John Washington. Under his grandfather's ownership, the estate was called Little Hunting Creek Plantation. The estate was later purchased by Washington's father, Augustine Washington, in 1726. When Augustine gave the estate to Washington's half-brother Lawrence Washington in 1740, he renamed it Mount Vernon to honor Admiral Edward Vernon, an English naval officer. Washington didn't become the mansion's owner until 1754. Trump, 72, visited Mount Vernon with French President Emmanuel Macron for a guided tour in 2018. On Wednesday, Politico reported on information from three sources. If he was smart, he would have put his name on it. You've got to put your name on stuff or no one remembers you, Trump reportedly said. Representatives for Trump did not immediately return Newsweek's request for comment. George Washington's Mount Vernon estate is seen on October 6, 2019, in Mount Vernon, Virginia. Daniel Slim AFP slash Getty Images Martha became the home's owner when Washington died in 1799. The home was supposed to be given to Washington's nephew Justice Bushrod Washington when Martha died since the couple was childless. Bushrod didn't have kids either, which Forbes claimed resulted in the home being passed down to distant relatives and leading it to fall apart over the years. John Augustine Washington III, the former president's great-grandnephew, sold Mount Vernon to an 1858 historic preservationist Anne Pamela Cunningham and the Mount Vernon Ladies Association of the Union for $200,000. Cunningham's union began running the estate in 1860. It later became a national historic landmark in 1960. Mount Vernon is visited by 1 million people annually and can be toured between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. ET daily. A discount